Welcome to the iPod Nano 3rd Generation Take Apart Guide. The iPod's model number is located on the back, which is A1236. The hold button is located on the bottom, next to the dock connector, as well as the headphone jack. First, you will have to remove the back casing. In this guide, we used a guitar pick to separate the back casing from the front case. This process will take a lot of time, and you have to be careful because you can easily damage the back case. Continue to work on one side until you feel that all clips have been released. Once you've pretty well loosened one side, move to the next. You may have to use a very small flat tool to spread open the case a little bit so that you can get the guitar pick inside. Continue to work on separating the casing all the way around the iPod. After a lot of work and using a lot of patience, you can finally get the casing separated. Notice the clips here so you can get an idea on how to use the guitar pick to remove the casing. Now use a flat tool to gently lift up on the battery. Do this carefully because it is adhered to the casing. Now you can see three wires that lead to the logic board. These wires are soldered in place. Now gently pry up on the metal casing that was holding the battery. Do this carefully as well because it is adhered to the logic board. Once it comes loose, it will come completely off. Now to remove the logic board, there are six small double zero Phillips screws that need to be removed. To remove the LCD, gently pry up on the two white tabs that are located on the right side. Now 
Now the LCD assembly, as well as the logic board, can be removed. Now to remove the LCD. Use a flat tool to carefully flip up the locking mechanism for the LCD cable. Then gently remove the LCD. Here you can also see that the headphone module is also soldered onto the logic board. Now to remove the click wheel assembly. You will have to pry up on the metal casing around the back that surrounds the click wheel. While prying on the metal casing, press on the click wheel to release it. Eventually, the entire click wheel assembly will come loose. Then you will just need to feed the click wheel cable through the housing. To release the hold button, gently pry up on the metal guard that's on the bottom. To remove the screen cover, gently press on it until it releases.